Hey, how's it going? As I've matured and gone through a whole bunch of personal development within the past couple years, I would think about how when I was younger and I would do things without thinking, which I think is pretty normal, but I remember specific scenarios that almost felt like I had Tourette's, which isn't too appropriate at that disorder because I definitely don't have it or, or anything like that, but I would just say things out of impulse and have a very hard time controlling myself and even like just basic social situations. Growing up, this kind of gave me a sort of subconscious impression that I didn't have control over myself and that made me very anxious and it almost made me gain a complex of some sort. So as I went through middle school in high High school and even now and I find myself being hypercritical of myself in social situations to an almost debilitating point and I've begun to not even be able to recognize myself when I look back at old memories and I reminisce about my old relationships and past experiences. I've joked with my friends and acquaintances that I've reconnected with to treat me almost as like a new person because I straight up either don't remember or can't even imagine myself acting the same way that that person that they used to know did. And this is similar to how I look at my friends and people that I used to know. It took me a little bit to come to terms with the people that I used to know are gone. And just like me, they have grown. Which I already made a whole video about, so I won't really get into it. But I think I'll probably look back on now in the future in a similar way. Maybe not to such a drastic degree. But I think it's normal to look back and cringe at the things that you used to do and how you used to act. You know, I think it shows that you're growing and you're changing and having new experiences and meeting new people. And you're growing as you age. But I can't lie, I look back on the old me and I cringe. It's so embarrassing that I don't even want to recognize that person as me because I feel so different now. It doesn't feel like my life actually started until a couple years ago when I felt like I actually gained a consciousness. So when did my life actually start? Did it start a couple years ago or has this natural progression not been as drastic as maybe I think it has or as I've played it up in my head? It's a hard question, uh, at least for me, and it's something that I've been thinking about a lot recently. It's hard not to look back and feel sad that those times are over. Despite how cringe and embarrassing the things I did were, it was a different time. You know, I think a lot of us can remember 2016 YouTube. It definitely is not the same as uh, current YouTube or just current life in general. Especially with, you know, 2020 and all that, but that's been talked about to death. When I was a kid, I had way less responsibilities than I do now, which I think is normal. I think it's normal to look back at your childhood and kind of get that feeling of wanting to return to the good old days or whatever, which I think can also be a little bit of a trap. I've thought for a while that I never want to be one of those adults that sees high school as, you know, the best days of their life, the glory days, uh, which I will say is pretty easy in my case because my high school uh, was not uh, the best experience for me, but that was mainly due to stuff kind of outside of school. Um, but regardless, it wasn't great. Um, but I still feel nostalgic for it, and it's daunting to look back at the last couple years and really come to terms with how different things truly are now. But I do think that now things are better, but I just gotta try to not get lost in the nostalgia and romanticized memories. I made a whole other video about that a while ago, so I don't want to rehash all that, but I do kind of think I'm in a bit of a unique scenario because I've, in a way, documented a whole bunch of my childhood on this channel, and I'm able to actually go back and see how I used to act. I also have another channel that's private, but I can go back with videos over 10 years of me playing Call of Duty and stuff, you know, with friends that I haven't spoken to in, you know, damn near a decade when I made those videos in elementary school. But even this channel goes back around eight years, which is a pretty decent chunk of my life so far. I've said it before, but no matter how cringe those videos may be um, as time goes on, I like to have them up as a way of owning that. You know, it's cringe, but um, I don't want to kind of make it look like I'm trying to hide anything or that I should be embarrassed about how I acted as a kid. Because, yeah, it's just a dumb gaming video, but I was proud of them at the time. And to an extent, I still kind of am. You know, I made pretty good videos, I think, back then that haven't aged all too poorly, especially relative to the stuff that was coming out at the time. I was emulating a lot of my favorite YouTubers at the time, and I think I did a pretty decent job, all things considered. And I don't want to confuse this with the idea that I've seen shared by, you know, a whole lot of young people and, you know, people my age asking when their life will start and that they don't feel like they're experiencing life to the fullest. I'm more so talking about how it feels that only a couple years ago I actually started being able to control my actions without the fear of compulsively or impulsively uh, saying something dumb or acting weird. I don't know if I'm really explaining this all too all too well, but I'm not really trying to say like, oh, I just feel like my life has, hasn't started yet. I, I want to get out and see the world. And while that certainly is true, I also experienced so much, and that's kind of how I have grown so much in the past couple of years, which it sounds like I'm 
I think, exaggerating, but I think it really has been such a drastic difference and something that I really do take a lot of pride in. I've conquered a whole lot of my own uh, insecurities and fears that, you know, middle school me was almost crying over and definitely would not be open to talking about it on the channel he was trying to grow. I feel like I've made so many videos talking about the past and stuff, and I don't want to rehash everything, which, which I'm probably doing now, but I don't know. I hope I was able to uh, explain this correctly, and I hope I got the idea across. Life's been really crazy recently, which is why I haven't been uploading, um, but I still appreciate uh, anyone that checks my videos out, and uh, I just like talking about stuff whenever I feel the need to. So yeah, I got Twitter in the description, and uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. See ya.